Howdy campers, and welcome back to your least boring summer camp ever. <laughs> right here at Camp Crunch Labs. I'm Mark Rober, and this is week five of our supercharged summer camp experience. As a reminder, Crunch Labs is two parts. We release the video you're watching right now every week on Saturday, and those contain the mega experiments, which I do. And then the super challenges that you do. And then with the super challenges, I pick my four favorite every week. And at that point, they're entered in a pool. And I'll pick my favorite super challenge entry of the whole summer. They're getting a platinum ticket to come out here for week 12 for the biggest mega experiment of them all. So that's one part. And then the second part is getting those weekly build boxes delivered to your door. In fact, this is week five. So that means this episode is in honor of the fifth build box. That's a clue. The catapult chain reaction. And you put together three of these in this box. And the physics principle we learn about here it's all about projectile motion. And this box is just so delightful because so many of you have already made these incredible Rube Goldberg machines where you just see reaction after reaction. Yes. And it doesn't always work out of the gate, but just like any good engineer, after a bunch of tweaking and learning and optimizing, eventually you get that money shot and it just feels so amazing. That's like the feeling I get every month when whatever we're making and building actually works. It's a lovely feeling. It's one you get to feel a lot as an engineer to actually make stuff. So between all these build boxes that come every week and the super challenges and the weekly videos, that's how we're making this your least boring summer ever. So if you want to learn more, head to campcrunchlabs.com with a parent. And with that, we're gonna get right to this week's mega experiment. But first, we gotta find out who our special guest is. Oh, wow. Sophie! Hey, Mark! Welcome to Camp Crunch Labs! I'm glad to be here. How, however, I got yeah, here. Yeah, sorry, I don't know if yeah. you were like in the middle of washing dishes or yeah, like going, was, hanging out or. I was or watching some TV. Watching TV. <laughs> okay, kind of sorry to pull it. out. Yeah. <laughs> the last time we met maybe was at the Mr. Beast Challenge in yeah. SoFi Stadium. Yeah, that was very intense. Um, I, didn't, I didn't win the million dollars, did you? No, I didn't. And I hid in a trash can. Oh, wait, I think I remember. Like, and it yeah. was really smelly. Yeah, it was really smelly and I smelled really bad afterwards. Yeah, I hid in like a laundry basket. And, oh, uh, that's better than It wasn't as smelly. In fact, yeah. I was actually editing a video while I was in there. Oh, wow, that was productive. Yeah, it I was. I tried to bet. You'll never take me alive! Well, you are just one of my favorite creators to watch online, so you're the Thank perfect you. person to help out today. Let's go over to the picnic table. We have an array of items here on the picnic table, which we'll get to in a second, but first we've got to call out our campers. Henry, and we got Eliza. How's your stay at Camp Crunch Labs been so far? Amazing. Amazing? I think we're gonna start out with a little bit of fire. Henry, do you like fire? No. Henry, from hearing stories from your parents, I know you actually do like fire. It's very not true. All right, well, he says it's very not true. Because is safety important? Safety is very important. The first thing we're going to do here, we have a little desktop fire tornado. Just to be safe here, we're going to put on our eyeglasses. Sophie, I got some for you. All right, guys, take just a step back as I light this. Now, isn't really that impressive until I put the glass on. Now you come a little closer. What do you see? Yeah, it's like a fire tornado, huh? What do you think of that, Eliza? Cool. Is that cool? It's still scary. So we've done some big ones of these in real life. This was actually for this kid, Fletcher, who had brain cancer. We threw him the world's most epic birthday party, but we also had this epic fire tornado. And basically, the secret to what's happening here is you got these little slits on the side because fires need oxygen, right? So as the oxygen comes in, it comes in in these little slits and it comes in already in a spiral. And so that's what's spinning the air around as it rises. And then to put it out, all we gotta do is put this on top. It loses all its ability to have oxygen and it goes out. I've got some other things over here that you guys might also find interesting. So I've got these special Camp Crunch Labs bottles here and they're all filled with a little bit different liquid. What's inside the liquid? That's a good question. So it's a special concoction of chemicals that when you add it to flames, the flames will become the color that's on the bottle. Oh, wow. So Eliza, what's your favorite color? Green. I'm glad you said that. Henry, what's your favorite color? Pink. 
Sophie, yours? Orange. Orange, okay. And I'm a blue guy. We're gonna start with red and then we're gonna work our way through all of our favorite colors. Now again, for safety on this, why don't you guys stand over there by the trees? I'm gonna put on this thing on my fireproof gloves. Okay, here's red. Cool, huh? Yeah. Who was green? Eliza, again, there's certain minerals we've mixed in with the mixture, and when they react with fire, they burn a specific color. And if everything goes according to plan, Eliza, it should burn green for you, okay? Is that cool? That's so cool. Okay, here's your pink, Henry. All right, Sophie, you got orange, right? Orange. I mean, I feel like fire is like already yeah. orange. Fire's yeah. kind of already Not orange. Not to make it less special, yeah. but. Okay, and finally blue, my favorite color. Here we go. Ooh. The edges, you see how they're kind of green too? It's like a green blue. Looks kind of like like the leaves of a tree. Oh yeah, it does look like the leaves of a tree. That's a good observation, Henry. Okay, it's time now for a competition. And I'm gonna challenge Sophie to a game of darts. Now, I wanna ask you guys, since you know me well, who do you think is gonna win, me or Sophie? So Sophie. I thought that's what you were gonna say. <laughs> No faith. I mean, that was so quick. There was no hesitation. You guys have never even seen Sophie throw a dart. How? Why are you just so quick to say Sophie? Because you lose at everything. Okay, that's it. Wow. You know what? Now I have something to prove here today. I was gonna try and take it easy on you, Sophie, but I need to earn the respect yeah. of these two children. I hope you proved me wrong, but I highly doubt that. You highly, oh man, no one believes in me. You know what? I believe in me. Okay, Sophie, get over here. We're gonna stand right here. Okay. We each get one throw. Here, you guys can come watch from right here. Closest to the bullseye wins. You wanna go first or you want me to go first? I feel like you should go first. Okay. Yeah. This one's for Henry and Eliza. They'll finally believe in me. You got this, old boy. <laughs> I hit the window! You know how many times I've hit that dang window? Oh, gosh. <laughs> was that impressive, Eliza? No, that was terrible. No. That was the opposite of impressive? Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's embarrassing. Look, I'm not proud of that performance. I guess you guys were right to believe in Sophie, but look, she hasn't gone yet. Yeah, I haven't there, gone. There's um, more windows that could be broken. Oh, 100%, but I feel like, I feel like I can do better than this. Oh wait, you're not gonna shoot my dart? I feel like- An arrow? I feel like I can do this. And on top of it, you know what? I got this. What? Are you, I'm the one who snaps. Well, now I'm the one who snaps. You brought your own arrow. You brought yeah. your own stand. I just feel like this is like better than a dart. I guess we should stand back there to give you some room. Mark, wait, do you wanna stand here? Sure. So you can like really watch That's true. in case I get a bullseye. No, so when you break the window, I'm gonna see it. And if you hit a window, it's like, I hit a window pretty close to the bullseye, so. Yeah. Actually, actually, I'm better with my feet. <laughs> Sorry, silly me, I thought I was doing it with my hands for a second. Better. What does that even mean? What is happening right now? <laughs> also, Mark, do you have a lighter? I mean, yeah, I've got a lighter. Can you set this on fire? What? Sophie? Ah! Hold on. Ready? No. I need proper protection. Okay. Guys, who is closer? Sophie. <laughs> you guys can come back over here. You know what? Now it's my turn to shoot the bow and arrow with my feet. You guys yeah. want to see that? Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do the gentlemanly thing. I'll just give you the win. Are you sure? You yeah, don't want to shoot the bow and arrow with your feet? 
Um, Are you I, sure? Yeah, I feel like this is the dignified thing. You're you're at my camp. Uh, you know, I gotta give you the win. What was your guys' favorite part today? Sophie shooting the food. Yeah. Yeah. And her winning. And her and her winning. You know what? I've had about enough of this. Campers, get back to your cabins. It's past your bedtime. Get the heck out of here. Sophie, as usual, you crushed it today. You are so cool. And by the way, I mean, this is just the kind of stuff Sophie does. Take a look. You ready? Oh. Oh. It's actually moving. Oh, Sophie got it. There she goes. She's so close. Let's go. Okay, Sophie, you're the best. Thanks for coming out. Thank you so much, Mark. Honestly, this was... She needed to get back to watching her TV anyways. All right. Well, that was our mega experiment for today. Now we get to my favorite part of the video where we review last week's super challenge submissions. Now, the challenge from last week was to see who could make the coolest art project. So let's take a look at what we've got. Let's make some art. Camp Crunch Labs is so fun. This is art! Yes! Yeah! Eight female scientists and engineers. Mine's the tallest. Mine is the most cutest. I gotta tell you guys, the creativity here just blew my mind. It almost makes me want to cry knowing I have to boil these down to my four favorites. Crunch Labs logos. Whoa! Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, wait. It's okay. Here's the better one. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! I feel like I need to hand out 40 patches this week. And so while this is quite possibly the hardest thing I've ever done, harder than putting a rover on stinking Mars, my four favorite from this week, I think were these four. So if one of those was yours, be looking for one of these suckers coming in the mail, the official Camp Crunch Labs 2023 signed patch. Of course, you're now officially entered to win this platinum ticket to come out here for the 12th episode, a mega experiment to end all mega experiments. Okay, so now for this week's super challenge, what I want you to do is make the longest chain reaction you can make. Woo! Kind of like one of those Rube Goldberg things, right? So if you got your Crunch Labs box, you've got these three catapults, so you could potentially incorporate those into your build. 
When I say Rube Goldberg chain reaction, I mean like one of these types of videos. And of course, you gotta be safe, work with your parents, ask for their permission, have them film it, and then post it and tag us at Crunch Labs. Be sure to use the hashtag Camp Crunch Labs contest. And if you've ever wanted to show me your mad engineering skills or how creative you are, this is your chance because I see and review every single one of these. Okay, campers, well that's it for this week. So get to your super challenge, get to putting your build box together, and then I'll catch you next week right here at Camp Crunch Labs. Now, to put out this fire, uh, once and for all. Nothing. Whatever.